why we're here, it's very simple. <laughs> why we're here? It's not like existential question though. <laughs> Hello from Turkish Japanese family. This is Bilge. I'm Tomo. And today we're going to talk about why we are in Switzerland. I grew up in a small town in Turkey called Aydın. And then I moved to Istanbul to study university. After my studies finished and my bachelor finished, I went to Germany to work as an intern for a year. When <laughs> my internship ended, um, I was offered a job to stay, so I stayed. But then, to stay longer in Germany, I needed a permanent contract. And my company offered that I can move to another location in the company uh, to get a permanent contract. No, I could not stay in Germany with the same contract. So I got a job in Zurich. It was the closest distance to Germany, to be honest. And that's how I ended up in Zurich. And I'm still here after almost more than 10 years. Nice. <laughs> See, <laughs> this is why I'm in Switzerland. But th this is not the story why we are together in Switzerland, which will come to that. And so, how did you end up in Zurich? Which I know already the story, but for you to hear from him. Where do I start? So, how did I end up in Switzerland? Um, I grew up in a city called Yokosuka, uh, which is near Yokohama, which is a uh, suburb of Tokyo. Um, after high school, I decided to go to university in the US. And in the end, I spent uh, seven years uh, there doing uh, up to master's degree. Then I looked for a job and I found a job in Switzerland. That was quite exciting. And uh, yeah, I decided to just jump from, jumped the pond, they call it in the US, uh, across from uh, US to Switzerland. And since then, I've been in, uh, I've been in Switzerland. So how long has it been? For you? Too long. <laughs> no, I, you don't I don't need to say. <laughs> yeah, longer than 15, 16 years, right? Yeah, more than 15 years. Time just passes, you know, in this country. It just shows <laughs> that the, 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 yeah, it's, the experience has been quite pleasant for me. And yeah, we met each other here, a lot of things happened. I mean, we almost built our lives here uh, separately and then we met each other and then we built our family here. So it, it happened almost too naturally that we didn't see a reason to move anywhere else. And also Switzerland is, especially Zurich, is so easy to live in. Uh, it, you know, we really don't have a reason to go back to our countries other than our families. The situation is here quite comfortable. Um, Switzerland is a very secure place uh, to raise kids, especially. Then uh, it's expensive country. It's a country. It's very expensive, but also if you work here, you earn enough to pay for those expenses. Right. Yeah, but also taxes uh, not very high. Uh, at the same time, there's. A lot of, we, we feel that there are taxes used and uh, for our benefit, so I think we feel the tax is repaid uh, back to us. So unlike maybe some countries where you don't even know where the tax went. Let's not least, mention any names. No, I mean, I don't know, I cannot say, but uh, I think there are many countries that uh, you wonder where the tax money went and uh, you don't feel like you're benefiting from your, your uh, contribution. So. Yeah. Here you feel like, um, yeah, you, what you contribute as a country, you feel like the country is paying back. Uh, yeah, so. and, and there is a big ex expat community here, so we don't feel like strangers. Um, I mean, we came here as talents that give back to country as well by with our work uh, for for the growth of the country. So. Um, 
we just feel part of the country. Uh, we somewhat speak the language and uh, our friends are from many different countries plus Swiss, right? Yeah. And then there's nature. Uh, that's, you know, you heard about the Swiss Alps. We're surrounded by forests and green. Even <clears throat> we can just go for a walk in the forest in five minutes, literally walk into forest in five minutes from where we live. And it's also in the city. So by car, we can access to mountains in an hour. Um, we can go to a lake to swim in 10 minutes. Okay, what I miss here is the sea. But <laughs> again, we are located in the middle of Europe. It's also not a dream, right? I can go back to Turkey with a flight that is two and a half hours. So within a day, I can reach the sea. Not during COVID times, but in the <laughs> usual circumstances. It's actually nice to live in the middle of the Europe. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, the, the, we can drive, well, again, pre-COVID or non-COVID days. We can drive to Germany, France, Italy, Austria, Mm. Oh, and beyond, Paris is, beyond it's, it's very quick. Yeah, um, Paris is like four hour train ride, you know? If you go that far, but... <laughs> no, we we can also we don't uh, go to Munich or uh, Salzburg, um, Colmar, and the Alsace region for uh, wine. There are so many places around uh, Switzerland that's uh, quite uh, interesting to visit. Mm -hmm. Milan. <laughs> yeah. uh, Switzerland is super clean. Uh, recycling is embedded in the culture. Uh, these are the things I like, you know, it's, it's just... You, you cannot turn a country right away into a clean country. It comes with the culture and it's already here. Basically, um, even though we like our own countries, it's, it, for us, Switzerland is a great place to live. Besides that, it's a natural zone for both of us. If we were to live in Turkey together, you might have felt uh, you're kind of outsider. The vice versa, if I was in uh, Japan, I would feel an outsider. We, we love each other's country a lot. We're very much interested in uh, visiting, uh, being there, traveling there. I would actually like to live in Japan for a while, probably not all my life, <laughs> but uh, maybe those days will come as well. I mean, we, we have a dream that we live in each of the countries for a while, a couple of months of the year at least. If we can manage that in the future, that would be great. But Switzerland is home. Yeah. Kai is born here, so for him, it's, he doesn't know yet anywhere else. Yeah, as a home, yeah. Yeah, home base. Yeah, well, yeah, this is why Switzerland is home to us. And uh, we can tell you in the next video how we met. <laughs> and how it became more home for us together. Um, if you want to hear more or if you have questions about Switzerland, please put them in the comment section. Or if you're not comfortable asking those questions publicly, you can also send us a DM through our Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. And see you in the next episode. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Bye.